beauty days and nights you guide the steps of our journey may your presence be felt in the whisper of your voice beyond the days of hope and mystery we see the light of faith renewed and in our longing we thirst for guidance to walk with you day by day. So we gather together in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Sisters and brothers, I'm happy to be with you to social media and this online mass every Sunday to remind us all that God is present wherever we are. Wherever you are this moment, you are there and God is there. We bow our heads and remembering what the Lord tells us in today's gospel, repent and believe in the gospel. Please look into your heart now. Was there anything in your heart that needs to be forgiven? That you need to change? Only you would know that. And God knows that too. So let us beg the Lord's grace for true conversion. If today you hear his voice, harden not your heart. And as we look into our hearts, let's also forgive people who have hurt us. Pray for people we have hurt in any way. And we forgive ourselves. Because God is loving and full of mercy. So in humility we pray, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us and forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray in a special way today. We pray for all migrants, National Migrants Day, especially our brothers and sisters who have to leave home and family. Please be with them. And please remind us, Lord, that we too are all just migrants. We are all just passing by in this world. Grant Almighty God, through the yearly observances of Holy Lent, that we may grow in understanding of the riches hidden in Christ and by worthy conduct pursue their effects. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. God said to Noah and to his sons with him, See, I am now establishing my covenant with you and your descendants after you and with every living creature that was with you. 
all the birds, all the various tame and wild animals that were with you and came out of the ark. I will establish my covenant with you that never again shall all bodily creatures be destroyed by the waters of a flood. There shall not be another flood to devastate the earth. God added, This is the sign that I am giving for all ages to come of the covenant between me and you and every living creature with you. I set my bow in the clouds to serve as a sign of the covenant between me and the earth. When I bring the clouds over the earth and the bow appears in the clouds, I will recall the covenant I have made between me and you and all living beings, so that the waters shall never again become a flood to destroy all mortal beings. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your ways, O Lord, are love and truth to those who keep your covenant. Your ways, O Lord, are love and truth to those who keep your covenant. Your ways, O Lord, make known to me. Teach me your paths. Give me, guide me in your truth and teach me, for you are God my Savior. Your ways, O Lord, are love and truth to those who keep your covenant. Remember that your compassion, O Lord, and your love are from of old. In your kindness, remember me because of your goodness, O Lord. Your ways, O Lord, are love and truth to those who keep your covenant. Good and upright is Lord. Thus he shows sinners the way. He guides the humble to justice, and he teaches the humble his way. Your ways, O Lord, are love and truth to those who keep your covenant. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, Christ suffered for sins once, the righteous for the sake of the unrighteous, that he might lead you to God. Put to death in the flesh, he was brought to life in the spirit. In it, he also went to preach to the spirits in prison, who had once been disobedient, while God patiently waited in the days of Noah during the building of the ark in which a few persons, eight in all, were saved through water. This prefigured baptism, which saved you now, it is not a removal of dirt from the body, but an appeal to God for a clear conscience through the resurrection of Jesus Christ, who was gone into heaven and is at the right hand of the Father, with angels, authorities, and powers subject to him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us now honor the Holy Gospel. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The proclamation of the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. The Spirit drove Jesus out into the desert, and he remained in the desert for 40 days, tempted by Satan. He was among wild beasts, and the angels ministered to him. He came to Galilee, proclaiming the gospel 
of God. This is the time of fulfillment. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. Beloved, the good news of our salvation. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. Come, Holy Spirit, come, Holy Spirit, bless this and worthy priest that I may preach with humility and with the heart and that people listen with the heart, not just with their ears. Come, Holy Spirit. Amen, Lord. Amen. Dear friends, happy to have this Mass with you wherever you are this moment. You are there. And God is there. Please welcome the Lord. Acknowledge Him. Smile at Him. These are very simple things we do which can make our lives meaningful. And look at people around you. You still have them. These are reasons to give thanks. Many times, and dami tayong iniisip, and we forget to appreciate God and people who are just there with us. Yes. And right now, maybe there's some of you who are, wherever you are right now, maybe you are in a desert right now, experiencing desert moments. Yung dis disyerto, yung dryness, yung paghihirap. We all go through desert experience. This whole year, one big desert, wandering in the desert tayo. I hope di naman aabot ng 40 years, ano? Malapit na. But you see, maybe ito lang pong gusto kong paalala sa atin. Whatever desert you're going through now, maybe may karamdaman ka, mayroon ka mga pinagdadaan na mga problema, may, mayroong may sakit, mayroong mga utang, wala ng pera, may away-away. Oh, these are painful moments in the desert. Paalala lang po. Don't forget this, ha? God will not desert you, even, especially when you are in the desert. Hindi tayo iiwanan ng Diyos. In fact, in fact, mga kapatid, God is most present when you are in the desert, in desolation, in trials. Mga kapatid, this is the gospel today about going to the desert. Jesus, driven by the Spirit to the desert, to experience temptation, hunger, lahat na yan. The Spirit was with Jesus. Paalala lang po. Many of us even experience spiritual dryness. Yung ang hirap magdasal, parang wala ka namang consolations, etc. But stay, stay there because the Lord is there. And something happens in the desert. Those who go through, pag mayroon kang pinagdaanan na mahirap, may nangyayari rin sa iyo eh. I remember a little story. Mayroon pong, this guy had got the vaccine. Okay. Tapos na. Aba, when he was going home, he felt dizzy, parang blurred, blurred yung vision niya, no? Sabi niya, ano na to? Side effect. Panic siya. He was panicking. So he called the vaccine center. Sabi niya, Doc, you know, I, I, I don't know what's happening. I'm feeling dizzy. 
I, my vision is very blurred. And then the doctor said, Uy, tama, tama, I'm glad you called. Please come back right away to the vaccine center. You forgot your eyeglasses here. Kaya pala nag blurred na siya. You know, let me tell you this, and I know you will agree. Pag isang tao po, may pinagdaanan na mahirap. Something changes in you. Well, it two things, yan eh. Could be positive or negative. Some people, because of sufferings, they become bitter. But some people, because of sufferings, they become better. And it's your choice. We come out, sana, of this pandemic better persons, not bitter persons. If we are with the Spirit, if we go to the desert with the Lord, we'll be better persons. You know, desert is a place where you experience discernment. Marami ka nakikita na eh. Cancer was a desert experience for me, but because of cancer, I began to see things in a different way. My purification. Eh? D is discernment. You finally discern what is good, what is important. Hindi na pala kailan. Kayo po na dumaan sa COVID-19. Na hospital na lahat, pero gumaling pa. Now you realize, you discern what is really important. Uy, mga namatayan po, whatever. Now you realize, may discernment na nangyayari. E, in the word desert is, in the desert you experience God. For me, cancer was a big experience of God. Pinaalala ko ni Lord sa akin, Oy, Jerry, I am here. This is not about you. This morning, I was praying under the beautiful sky, and what hit me was Mama Mary saying, My soul magnifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. What is the secret of Mama Mary? Why her life was joyful in spite of many problems. She remained joyful. You know the secret? She magnified the Lord. Pinalaki niya si Lord. Hindi yung problema niya. Mga paghihirap niya, sakit niya. That is the secret. Make the Lord bigger than whatever problem you have. Lord, you are with me. Today, I will be happy. Today, I will not be sad. The joy of the Lord is with me because today is the Lord's day and it's holy. From the book of Nehemiah, chapter 8. This is the secret. And you find that when you go to the desert, the experience of God. How do you magnify the Lord? Paano mo palakihin si Lord? That's the question. You know how? Palitin mo sarili mo. Make yourself smaller. Eh kung pinapalaki mo palagi mga problema mo, kaimportante mo, mga kayamanan mo, wow, you cannot really magnify the Lord because you become bigger than the Lord. You want to magnify the Lord? You make yourself little. Humility. I hope we learn humility. Daming problema kung wala kang humility. We still have so much to learn. In the desert, experience silence. Sana po, let's have silence. Ang dami tayong iniisip. Ang dami tayong pinapatulan. Kung ano-anong mga isyo, mga chismis, kung ano-ano dyan. Are these important? Think about it. Will these things matter that you talk about, you think about? Will these things matter in the end? You know, more and more, sana po, this pandemic should have taught us now to learn to be silent before God. To really listen. You know, you talk of human opinion, and dami po. 
you have put any issue, anything you post or whatever, and dami ng... But who's listening to God? Are we listening to God? Silence. And sana in your desert, anumang, anumang pinagdadaan mong disyerto, paghihirap, you get the enlightenment. Yun. To enlighten your mind. Ay, yeah. Like one enlightenment I realize through my journey with cancer is that I have no more agenda in this world. Wala na po, except magawa ko yung mission ko. May, ano pang magagawa ko? And go to heaven. That was one beautiful gift that cancer gave to me. Letting go. Letting God. Basta whatever the Lord wants, okay na. And basta the rest of my life, the best of my life. Yung pong gagawin natin. You know, the desert not only in, enlightens us, it also enkindles the heart. Mga, dito sa puso natin, yung baga, baga ba yung apoy? Marami sa atin halos lobat na, yung wala na, wala nang alab. When you go to a desert experience, somehow, nabubuhay uli. You begin to have a flame in your heart. So, enkindle the heart. And one more thing, the desert can and should enhance your countenance. Paano ba yung enhance yung, maybe, your face? <laughs> Oo, na-enhance, na na-accent na, na yung smile mo. Kasi po, this is one thing that the desert can do for you. Because you already have peace and silence and God. Something changes. You know, I'm becoming now an expert. How to detect a real smile na mga taong nakamask. <laughs> Tignan mo yung mata. Yung mata ba? Kasi may mga nakismile. Wala, well, hindi na pwede kasi sarado. But the eyes can smile. And that happens when you really have that flame of God in your heart. So mga kapatid, diyan po. And please, the desert is a place for renewal. Ano mang pinagdadaanan natin, nare-renew tayo eh. Mahirap. You leave yung comfort zones. Yung fasting na yan. Yung mga, naku, ang hirap, you give up. But you know, something good happens when you let go. Uh, this is my suggestion. Let go of the dessert. Yung mga, ano ba yung dessert sa Tagalog? Ha? Minatamis, yung mga panghimagas. Let go of the dessert when you go to the desert and focus on God. Marami kasi tayo, hindi natin mag up yung mga dessert. Yan. Yung mga gustong-gusto natin. Which are non-essential, by the way. So, renewal and you learn to trust God more. That's why God allows us, in fact, it is He many times who drives us to go through a desert. And the more obedient you are to God, the better. Para makatawid ka agad. Alam nyo, yung mga Israeli daw noon, 40 years in the desert. Ang lapit-lapit lang naman ng Egypt at saka Israel, sa totoo lang. Umikot sila ng umikot, paikot-ikot. They were going nowhere. Well, one reason is this. Marami sa kanila pasaway. Hindi sila nakikinig kay Moses. Sila, gusto nila yung sarili. Maraming away, away. God gave them the time to be purified. The sooner, the more obedient you are to God, the sooner you will go through a desert. So mga kapatid, ito po, anumang disyertong dinadaanan mo, nandyan ang Panginoon. At may rason. Ang may rason kasi may dahilan eh. Kung may dahilan, for a reason. Di ba? 
Yun lang po yun, mga kapatid. Why do I say this with, with a smile? Because I really believe that getting angry, getting worried when you go to a desert will not help any. This is my experience. If you obey, you trust in God, you really open to the Lord, things will just fall into place. And you're open. By the way, yung dentista. What is the first thing a dentist will tell you? Para magamut ka. Para mapastahan ka, mabunutan ka. What is the first word the dentist will tell you? Open. Open. <laughs> Kung hindi ka mag-open, mm, no, wala talagang mangyayari dyan. And please remember this, ha? I hold on to this also. A broken heart is an open heart. In isang pusong nabasag ay bukas na. Bukas na bukas sa Panginoon. So those of you who have any brokenness, you're now in such a situation when you're really open, open to the Lord. You know, mga kapatid, tears, yung luha, hindi po yan nanggagaling sa mata. Nanggagaling po yan sa puso. Yung mga umibig at nasaktan, maraming luha kasi galing sa puso yan eh. But you know what? Tears clear the eyes. Parang pag naiyak mo na, lumiliwanag na eh. And tears also lighten the heart. Gumaan na, nabawasan na ng bigat ng puso. So mga kapatid, please, remember this, anumang disyerto, dinadaanan natin, nandyan ang Panginoon. The Lord will not desert you when you are in the desert. And please, skip the deserts. This is what Lent is all about. Yung pong pangalawang message ni Lord, repent. Repent. Have mercy on me, O God, I am a sinner. This is a prayer, a mantra, if you may, that we have to keep repeating habang naglalakbay tayo sa mundo. Kasi pag nakalimutan mo yan, mawawala ka. If you lose that humility to say, Lord, I am a sinner. Ang dami kasi, oh, okay naman ako, Father, wala naman kong kasalanan. Ano ba yung mga yan? Uh, I'm good. You know? ay, 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 ay. Please don't go to spiritual pride. It's better stay low. Di ba? Magnify the Lord. Make the Lord big. And belittle yourself in humility. Well, mga kapatid, meron po nga akong kwan eh. Mga kwento nga ngayon. Yes, sa totoo lang po, one of the biggest message of the pandemic, in case we have forgotten, is for us to turn back to God. Naging mayabang na po tayo sa Diyos. Nakalimutan natin siya. We were all con- concerned about money, profit, unlimited travel, unlimited enjoyment. It was all about us. We didn't care about the environment. People can die. Pwede nang patay mga iba. Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. ho. Excuse me. We are just stewards here. E nagiging just na tayo. No. We must repent and go back. Mga kapatid, repentance. That's the key. Unless and until we repent, there's no real discipleship. This moment again, as I speak, as it is driven by the Spirit, think of that one single sin or bad habit that you have, that you really need, you and I need to surrender to the Lord. Lord, you know, you know everything. Help us, please. Kailangan ka namin, Panginoon. Patawad po. Please help us. We cannot do it alone. Salamat po, Panginoon. Amen. 
Amen. And uh, you know, there's a story about this guy was driving. Mayroon siya nakitang may may placard. Turn back. The end is near. Gumaganon na yung tao. Sabi yan, religious fanatic. Dire-diretso lang siya. You know what happened? Bam! He hit a bridge that was cut. The end is near. Ayun, bumagsak na siya. Please heed. The Lord is speaking. Do not belittle. Central message, initial salvo. The very first message of the Lord when He came out to His ministry was, repent and believe in the gospel. Yun po ang pangunang at napakahalaga sa message ng ating Panginoon. And what does believe in the gospel mean? What are the two most important things that the central message of the gospel? John 3.16 God so loved the world He gave His only begotten Son. Believe that you are loved by God Yun lang po ang panghawakan natin. For those who are nawawala na po ng pag-asa in the desert of sin, please remember this. And I speak to you as a brother who goes through difficulties too. It is better to be presumptuous of God's love than to doubt God's love. Mas mabuti na lang yung umasa ka pa rin sa pagmamahal ng Diyos kaysa magduda ka sa pagmamahal niya. In plain words, ito po, kapalmoks to the Lord. Lord, kapalmoks na talaga po ako. Pero naniniwala pa rin ako na mahal niyo ko. That's it. And that's all. Start with that. You are loved by God. And the other message here is what the Lord also said in John 13. Love one another as I have loved you. God so loved us, so we should love one another. That's the gospel truth we should never forget. And the one pong ginagawa natin, please don't forget. Keep this in mind. Wag kakalimutan para hindi mo ma forget. Amen. I was listening to Father June Perez as we read the gospel. And I can't help but, my God, this guy, this SBD missionary, has gone all over the world just preaching to people these two central messages of the gospel. God so loved the world, so we should love one another as He has loved us. Starting in Russia, Siberia, so you know, I cannot imagine how cold it is now in Siberia. In February, Father, how low do you go there? Minus 40 degrees centigrade. Just ko po. Uh, dito po sa Manila, this time, mga 25 degrees tayo, no? 27 degrees. So, malamig-lamig na yun. Bagyo, nag-10, ganun. Wow! Okay. Siberia, then he went on to Liberia. Again, Africa, right? Near... And if that was not enough, pumunta pa siya sa Korea. Anong? <laughs> Saranghe? Oh, pagkatapos ng Korea, dumaan kami sa yeah, Russia, Siberia, tapos Liberia, Korea, dumaan kami sa Divisoria. Bumili ng, kasi yung, yung bag niya noon, bugbog na yung luggage niya. Father, palitan na natin. Kalahin mo naman yung maleta na yung luma pa, yung maleta ni Father Juno, naalala ko yung <laughs> mga... Anyway, oh, Ras, Korea. Kala ko, tapos na yun, how many years? Nine years in Korea? Ten years? Aba, nag-volunteer pa ulit sa Malawi, Africa. Oh, kala ko, okay na, bumalik. Naku, mayroon na naman palang assignment. Pang lima na po, Waiting. Waiting. This is something spreading the gospel. Anyway, mga kapatid, by the way, sa desert pala, ha, maganda rin paalaala. In the desert, there are wild beasts and ministering angels. 
Ano ko ba, kapatid? Ikaw ba ay a wild beast or a ministering angel? It's your choice. Sa bahay ninyo, <laughs> sinong wild beast dyan? Sinong angel dyan? Sa community ni natin, sa bahay nating Pilipinas, sino yung mga ministering angel? Sino naman yung mga wild beast na, you know, nananakit, nagnanakaw? Choose goodness, please. This is the basic gospel message for all of us. And please remember this. When you go to the desert, last point po sa ating lahat, the three Ps. Ano mang disyerto pinagdadaanan natin? The first P is prayer. Dasal lang. Dasal lang. Mandasal kalabat anako. That's what Papa and Mama always told us. Just pray. Stay in prayer. Kasi kung di ka mag-pray, wala na. Give up na. You end up complaining, angry, depressed, and wala na. Prayer. Number two P, patience. Pasensya lang. Yun naman ang sinasabi ni Papa and Mama nun. Itupal mo labat, anako. Itupal means... Sige lang, pasensya lang. And believe that something will happen, something good will happen. And the third P is perseverance. You persevere till the end. Kasi pag nag-persevere ka till the end, hanggang dulo yan eh. Yun. And the other thing is, mga kapatid, you do all this in the spirit of penance. Sa tutulan po, nakakayanin natin anumang mahirap. If we realize, have mercy on me, I am a sinner, and I need to make reparation for my sins, then it becomes meaningful. Reparation not only for our sins, but for the sins of the whole world. I thank people who spend their lives praying not only for their own sanctification or salvation, but praying for all of us. That is a beautiful thing to do. Sisters and brothers, please don't forget, when you go to the desert, the Lord will be with you in the desert. He will not desert you. And please learn to skip the deserts of life so that you will really experience God. Sisters and brothers, we have God with us. Please pray. Be patient, persevere in penance, and all will be well in His time, according to His plan, all in His time. Amen. Amen. So we now profess our faith as we pray. I believe in one God. The Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Brothers and sisters, we now turn to the Lord and bring our prayers and our petitions, especially for our Filipino migrants all over the world. Let our response be, listen to our prayer, O Lord. Listen to our prayer, O Lord. that our church leaders continue to be committed in their concern for the poor, especially among the migrants and their families. We pray. Listen to our prayer, O Lord. That our civil leaders do their best to serve the people entrusted to them, mindful also of their responsibility to take care of the migrants and their families. We pray. Listen to our prayer, O Lord. 
that overseas Filipino workers be continually accompanied by God as they work and live in foreign lands, especially in moments of temptation to abandon their religious and cultural values. We pray. Listen to our prayer, O Lord. That the young lessen the burden of age carried by the elderly and bring them joy by their respect, care, patience, and love. We pray. Listen to our prayer, O Lord. That grieving families left behind by the demise of overseas workers find comfort in the assurance that their loved ones are now peacefully in God's kingdom. We pray. Listen to our prayer, O Lord. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Listen to our prayer, O Lord. O Lord, listen to all our prayers, which we offer to the intercession of Mama Mary and dear Saint Joseph. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Brothers and sisters, that this is our sacrifice, a thanksgiving may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of His holy church. Give us the right disposition, O Lord, we pray, to make these offerings, for with them we celebrate the beginning of this venerable and sacred time. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is to you right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, to Christ the Lord, by abstaining forty long days from earthly food he consecrated through his fast the pattern of our Lenten observance and by overturning all the snares of the ancient serpent taught us to cast out the leaven of malice so that celebrating worthily the Paschal mystery we might pass over at last to the eternal Paschal feast. Together with the angels and the saints we praise you and we thank you as we now pray.
we are gathered together in my name, there I am in the midst. Sisters and brothers, wherever you are, whatever you're going through, whatever desert you are in now, welcome the Lord. The Lord Jesus is with you, blessing you with his loving presence in this Eucharist. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Sa tuwing kakain tayo sa tinapay na ito at puminom sa kalis ng buhay, pinahayag natin ng kamatayan ni Kristo hanggang sa kanyang pagbab. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking the body and blood of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world to bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Onesto, our Bishop, all our bishops, the clergy, missionaries, and religious all over the world. Remember to Lord, our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. So we pray for Indai Florence Lim Chan, and all who have died in your mercy, Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, so please you throughout the ages, we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him. The unity of the Holy Spirit, O oh glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Let's now surrender everything to God, our loving Father. Be not afraid. The Lord is with us in whatever desert we are in.
Yes, Lord, deliver us from all evil, grant us peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, may we always be free from sin and safe from all distress. As you await the blessed hope and the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you sent your apostles, I leave you peace, and my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, O God, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. And may the peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear friends, if you really want to experience the peace of God, you must learn to let go, skip the desserts. Not only yung desserts na sweets natin, pagkatapos kumain, but the desserts of life, the mga wealth, mga luho, mga kayabangan, these are non-essentials. Leave them to the Lord and you'll have a more peaceful life. Peace be with you all. And joyful life, everyone. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, Savior of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, living bread and wine, have mercy on us. bow your heads wherever you are whatever you're going through let's have a heart-to-heart -heart moment with the Lord who is with you in a special way in this spiritual communion thank you Lord maraming maraming salamat po Panginoon sorry Lord patawad po Patawad po, have mercy on me, O God, I am a sinner. I love you, Lord. Mahal kita, Panginoon. Mahal ka namin. Salamat po sa pagmamahal ninyo sa amin. And help me, help us, Lord. Patulong. Kailangan ka namin. Stay with us. Stay with us, especially when you go to deserts. The Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world, happy and grateful are we who are called to the banquet of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body and the blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself fully to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. I invite you now to bow your head. Put your right hand over your heart. Just close your eyes and welcome the experience, the embrace of our God. For each one of us, 
Especially, O Lord, we pray para sa mga kapatid namin who are going through any desert at this point of their lives. Panginoon, meron po mga may karamdaman. We pray for their healing right now. That in their sickness and their pain, they may experience you. And Lord, marami po mga kapatid namin may pinagdadaanan emotional problems, depressions. Please, Lord, give joy to our hearts once again. Panginoon, many of us are going through spiritual dryness, darkness of the soul, Please help us not to lose hope and to keep believing that you love us. Help us to be patient, to persevere, and to just pray. Maraming salamat po, Panginoon. Lalong-lalo na rin sa mga kapatid namin who have no more work, of financial problems, going through financial desert. Lord, we believe that you will not desert us in whatever desert we are going through. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Mama Mary. Sana po matapos na po itong pandemic na ito. Sana po we not be infected by the virus and that we all come out from this pandemic better persons, not bitter. We who have been cleansed and humbled, may we become more generous, more loving, more kind and more trusting in you. Thank you po, Mama Mary. Thank you po, Saint Joseph, protector, intercessor, and our companion on our last journey towards God's heart. Amen, Lord. Amen. And amen. So, my Pati, thank you very much. Hang in there. I'd like to thank Father Carlos Rapadas SBD for helping us sa music, you know, organist and singer. And uh, the violin was from Casey uh, Del Rosario uh, Santos. So, Thank you again to all the staff here, seminarians. So, don't forget po, uh, this week is People Power Day. To remind us again, love of country. Alam po nyo, yeah, marami po sa atin, we are known, Filipinos are known to love hospitality, we love entertaining people, we love our families. But there's one na parang kulang. Yung sincere love of country. I mean, na talagang mahal natin ang ating bayan. Lahat po tayo still have much to learn. That sense of country. Well, of course, Korea. They love, they talk of their country. Uri nara. Our country. Our country. We need that, mga kapadid. So after this, we have also uh, Harana again to thank the Lord and Mother Mary and to be with you, kahit sandali lang, to sing together, to hope together. In Jesus' name, amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. 
renewed now with heavenly bread by which faith is nourished and hope increased and charity is strengthened, we pray, O Lord, that we may learn to hunger for Christ, the true and living bread, and strive to live by every word which proceeds from your mouth. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Receive the love, the embrace, and the blessing of Almighty God, our loving Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go in peace and remember, the Lord will never desert you in whatever desert you're going through. Thanks Amen. be to God. Mama Mary, we like to sing this song, Gentle Woman, because that's what we need. Marami sa atin, dahil sa pandemic, masungit na, matapang na. Hey, let's learn from Mama Mary, who did not panic with all the pains and the pressures. So we ask her to become more gentle, all of us. Mama Mary, continue to teach us to be gentle, gentle and humble of heart. Maybe we can sing also special prayer, the Lord will heal our land. This is our prayer and heal our world. We need conversion. Lord, heal our land. And I'd like to share with you a, a prayer. It's actually a song, but I believe many of us can relate with this because if we are humble, then we know that God really understands. This is a beautiful song. Stay with me. For all my brother priests and all those who try to keep going no matter what. For all those who try to travel in the journey to God's heart. This should be our song. Should my heart 
not be humble should my eyes fail to see should my feet sometimes stumble on the way stay with me like a lamb that in springtime wanders far from the foam comes the darkness and the frost I get lost I grow I grow cold, I grow weary, and I know I have sinned, and I go seeking shelter, and I cry in the And I blunder, do I'm weak and I'm wrong, though the road buckles under, still I walk, walk alone till I find to my wonder every path. Leads to thee. All that I can say is please stay with me. Stay. all of us we hope we will see each other again okay hey and a prayer for each one may the good lord bless and keep you what in the far away may you find the long Golden day to day, may your troubles all be small ones, never fortune ten times ten. May the good Lord bless and keep you. But it's time now to go For everything must end And I'll see you soon, I know Knowing God God is our friend Okay, and because God is our friend, OMG positive virus, uh, vaccine, nasa atin na. <laughs> OMG, God is alive, OMG, God is alive, OMG, God is alive, is alive in you and me. One more time. OMG, God is alive, OMG, God is alive, 
OMG God is alive, He's alive in you and me Yes, Lord Yes, Lord Yes, Lord Yes, yes, Lord Yes, Lord Yes, Lord Yes, yes, Lord Yes, Lord Yes, Lord Yes, yes, Lord Amen One more time Yes, Lord Yes, Lord Yes, yes, Lord Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord. Amen. OMG, God is alive. OMG, God is alive. OMG, God is alive, is alive. In you and me, God bless you, Mama Mary loves you, me too. Thank you, God bless you, and Mama Mary loves us on. Amen.